Ever wondered what paints the cosmos with such vibrant colors and intricate designs? Those ethereal clouds swirling in the vast expanse of space, they're not just celestial eye candy, they're monumental, playing an essential role in the grand scheme of the cosmos. They are the cradles of starbirth and the tombstones of star death. They are the cosmic recycling centers giving birth to new stars from the remains of the old. These cosmic artists are none other than nebulas, the universe's very own paintbrush. So, where do these celestial painters come from? Well, the birth of nebulas is a story as old as the universe itself, intertwined with the life cycle of stars. Stars, much like us, have a beginning, a middle, and an end. They're born in vast, dense clouds of gas and dust known as nebulae. These stellar nurseries are where stars spend the first few million years of their lives, slowly growing and maturing. But what happens when a star reaches the end of its life? Well, it goes out with a bang, quite literally. Massive stars, at least eight times the size of our sun, meet their end in a spectacular supernova explosion. This explosion is so powerful that it can outshine an entire galaxy for a short while. But the end of a star isn't just an end, it's also a beginning. The energy and materials expelled during a supernova explosion scatter across space, colliding with the surrounding gas and dust. This collision triggers the formation of a new nebula, a dazzling tapestry of gas and dust illuminated by the remnants of the dead star. It's a cosmic cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Stars are born from nebulae, live their lives, and in their death throes, give birth to new nebulae. And so the cycle continues, painting the universe with stunning nebulas, each one a unique masterpiece. In essence, nebulas are the beautiful remnants of dramatic stellar performances. So what makes up these cosmic beauties? Nebulas are like the great artists of the universe, painting the cosmos with vibrant colors and intricate designs. But what's their palette composed of? It's primarily dust, hydrogen, helium, and other ionized gases. Imagine a nebula as a celestial soup, with these elements as the main ingredients. Hydrogen and helium, the lightest and most abundant elements in the universe, make up the bulk of this soup. The dust, a mixture of tiny particles of carbon, silicon, and other heavy elements, adds a bit of flavor. This dust is incredibly fine, much finer than the dust you might find gathering on your bookshelf. But a soup isn't very interesting without some heat, right? In the case of nebulas, this heat comes from nearby stars. These stars emit high-energy light, which ionizes the gases in the nebula. Ionization is the process by which an atom or a molecule acquires a negative or positive charge by gaining or losing electrons. This often results in the emission of light, which gives nebulas their striking colors. The specific colors we see depend on the gases present. For instance, red often signifies the presence of hydrogen. The iconic red glow of many nebulas comes from the hydrogen atoms being excited by the energy of nearby stars. On the other hand, green typically indicates oxygen, while blue can signify the presence of heavier elements like nitrogen and sulfur. So, at their core, nebulas are essentially vast, colorful clouds of gas and dust lit up by the energy of stars. But they're not just beautiful to look at, they're also incredibly interesting from a scientific perspective. They provide us with valuable insights into the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the very origins of the universe itself. So, nebulas are more than just pretty faces, they are fascinating cosmic chemical labs. Just like artists have different styles, nebulas too come in various types. Let's dive in and explore these cosmic wonders. Picture an artist's palette, full of vibrant hues and shades, splashed across the canvas of the universe. These are the emission nebulas, the most colorful of them all. They earn their name because they emit light of their own, courtesy of the hot young stars residing within them. These stars energize the surrounding gas, causing it to glow in a spectacular array of colors. The most famous example of an emission nebula is the Orion Nebula, a stunning masterpiece in the night sky. Then we have the reflection nebulas. They're a bit more reserved choosing to reflect the light of nearby stars rather than producing their own. This reflected light is usually blue, as blue light scatters more easily across the nebula's dust particles. The Witch Head Nebula is a classic example, appearing as a blue-tinted specter in the dark expanse. Next, imagine a shadowy figure lurking in the corners of a brightly lit room. This figure is akin to the dark nebulas, which block the light of the objects behind them. They're dense, thick with dust and gas, and often serve as stellar nurseries where new stars are born. 
The Horsehead Nebula is a famous example of a dark nebula, its silhouette standing out boldly against the backdrop of space. Lastly, we have the Planetary Nebulas. Don't let the name fool you, they have nothing to do with planets. Instead, they're the remnants of dead stars, specifically, sun-like stars at the end of their life cycle. These stars shed their outer layers, leaving behind a glowing shell of gas that can persist for thousands of years. The Ring Nebula, with its characteristic donut shape, is a well-known planetary nebula. Each type of nebula, with its unique characteristics and appearance, plays a distinct role in the grand theater of the cosmos. They're not just beautiful to look at, they're also key players in the life cycles of stars. No matter their type, every nebula adds its own unique touch to the cosmos. So why should we care about nebulas? Well, the answer lies in the cosmic legacy they leave behind. Nebulas, with their vast clouds of dust and gas, serve as the universe's celestial nurseries, cradling the birth of new stars. They are the cosmic playgrounds where gravity dances with matter, igniting the spark of star formation. But the role of nebulas extends beyond just star creation. As stars reach their twilight years and explode in spectacular supernovae, they scatter their elements across the universe, enriching nebulas with the building blocks of life. These elements, from the oxygen we breathe to the iron in our blood, are all cooked up in the fiery hearts of stars and distributed through the universe by nebulas. So in a very real sense, we are all made of stardust, born from the nebulas. Nebulas are not just artists, but also the cradle of stars, and possibly life itself.